My name is Will Bedusha. I was born and raised in Hong Kong. I am a French national, but in truth, I don't actually know where I'm from. Yeah, because in many ways, I'm a third culture kid. My parents, they were both mixed. We had all five languages flying around at home, which made my upbringing in Hong Kong actually a little bit different. A lot of the times, um, growing up as a child, when I was going out maybe to McDonald's and um, I'd order a meal, I remember one very, very vivid experience where um, I went up to the counter and I asked for a double cheeseburger meal. Was what I actually asked for. And she kept speaking back to me in English. And then she walked away and turned around and said, did you speak to me in Cantonese? And when she realized that, yes, I was speaking in Cantonese, like she just froze. Um, so there were a lot of those types of experiences, like um, growing up or even going to university here, because I am from Hong Kong. I don't look like I'm from Hong Kong. Hong Kong is a place that is dynamic, it's vibrant. I lived in the UK, um, studying at Warwick, at the University of Warwick, the business school. Coming and over there in the UK, it's a lot more relaxed, it's less bustling. You know, life is very simple. And I wanted a place that was a lot more sort of at my speed. I want to do a lot. I want to see a lot. I, I want to be around a lot. And Hong Kong is that kind of place. In 2018, um, you know, I also joined up with my uh, business partner, David, and we started what we're, we are here, um, you know, which is Hong Kong Street Eats. So we invented the world's first um, Hong Kong style egg waffle. Um, this is a product which Hong Kongers all around the world, they really love, they would crave, but for over 60 years. So the Hong Kong egg waffle was something invented in the 1940s to 50s. So for over 60 years, nobody had actually been able to um, create a frozen or even a ready to eat version of the egg waffle that could actually be scalable. We've had a lot of great developments but the challenge has always been scaling um, and also, as well, finding investment in Hong Kong because it's a very challenging place um, to do so. The challenges in Hong Kong obviously are rental, staffing. Um, all of these are much more pricey. Hong Kong, regardless of what we've been through, regardless of any of the negativity, I mean, it's still an incredible place of resilience. It's still an incredible place of hope you know, because there are all sorts of different opportunities that you can pursue here. Hong Kong is that kind of place. It's a land of opportunity. It's a land of, you know, if you have the potential, you have the desire and you really want to go for something, you can go and do it. Going overseas, it really isn't all that fine and rosy. It can actually be very, very difficult to find work um, fit in culturally fitting in because say for example I moved to the UK it's a very very different culture to what I have in Hong Kong and you know I've heard mixed messages there are some um, people that I've known that have moved to the UK just want to stay in the UK perfectly great you know they're successful very well there are others that after a couple months there they can't settle in they're finding it tough to find work and other things. Hong Kong is still a great place to find work. It's still a great place with its infrastructure, all the businesses and companies that are here. You know, there are active hires in Hong Kong right now. You're going to look at very active hires from companies, you know, moving forward when the tourism industry returns, which we hope will do within the next several months. Things open up a lot more. It's going to be a very, very positive um, change. Well, for me, I see a lot of the positives. So I, I maintain that level of hope that we will get out of this, we will be stronger, and for young people as well, 
I would say just don't give up, pursue your dreams. And you know, like me, I'm pursuing my dreams, having a, working in food production, bringing people all over the world, um, a Hong Kong snack, Hong Kong hope. You know, I'm pursuing my dreams. Don't stop to pursue yours in this city because this city has so much to offer. Hong Kong is my home and I'm very proud to be from Hong Kong.